That's right, another European star is on his way to the NBA. But this kid's story is unlike any other you have ever heard. Nikola Topic just won the FIBA Under-18 championship and was named the MVP, but in January his season was in jeopardy. He was literally banned from playing in the ABBA league and had to search for a team in a lower level. If you think all of this is clickbait, just wait to hear the stat line of Nikola's best game this season. Burst to the basket, challenged all the way, still scoring and surely winning the game for Savannah's Vesta. Spoiler alert, the numbers were unreal for Europe while he also led his team's comeback from 21 points down. For most of you watching, probably this is the first time you're hearing about this kid. Topic is a 6'5 or 1 meter 95 centimeters point guard. Born in Serbia in 2005, he is one of the best, if not the best, international guard prospect in next year's draft class. He comes from a basketball family as his father Milenko was also a professional player for teams like Cervena Zvezda, Montepaschi or Olympia Milano. His son's breakthrough in youth come competitions happened only this last season. Why so late? There was a solid reason to it. The first major international competition for any youngster in Europe is the FIBA Under-16 Championship. Topic was selected to play for his native Serbia and actually did, but for only one game. In a solid outing, he had 17 points, 8 rebounds, 5 assists, but his performance was stopped due to injury. That's why mostly no one talked about Topic until the insane Adidas Next Generation performance this season that we're going to to see later. There was a not so beautiful start to his season, however. He entered the year as a member of Cervena Zvezda, a Euroleague side from Belgrade, which also plays in the ABBA League. As a promising domestic talent, he got a chance to practice with the main team, but his playing time was limited to say the least. Because of the win now and every game mentality in Europe, any 17-year-old not named Luka Doncic barely gets a chance to demonstrate his abilities. Nikola appeared in only 9 games until the new year and those minutes were only in the so-called garbage time at the end of games. His agent, the most influential persona in this business in Europe, thought a change was needed and quickly found a solution. On the 4th of January, it was announced that Topic is now a player for FMP Belgrade, another ABBA League team. FMP does not play in the EuroLeague, thus providing more opportunities for young players to grow. Despite the announcement of his transfer, two days later, Nikola travels with Cervena Zvezda to Valencia for a EuroLeague game. That already sounds weird weird, doesn't it? You sign for a new team but still travel with the old one? This might have happened because Vesda and FMP have been closely connected in the last years, with various rumors surrounding on how two teams operate. Because of this miscommunication between the former and new Nicolas club, he was banned from playing in the ABBA league three days after traveling to Valencia. Ironically, it can be said that he transferred to FMP for more minutes and instead his career there lasted a couple of days and for a grand total of zero minutes on the court. When I heard this story, I could not believe it. A young, promising talent who did not do anything wrong was trapped because of the miscommunication of two clubs. But Mishko is one of the best agents in Europe for a reason. Not even a week later, Topic signed with OK Key Belgrade. How many teams do they have there? Which plays in the first division of Serbia. Here's where the talk about the ban shifted to the buzz about Topic's skills and future. The 17-year-old immediately was inserted in the team's starting lineup and dominated amongst grown men, posting averages of 18 points, 4 rebounds and 6 assists in 32 minutes per game. Solid percentages from everywhere as well. That's some versatility and potential for you right here. More importantly, Nikola completely changed the team's picture. Basketball is all about wins and losses after all, and without him, OKK Belgrade had an average record of 8 wins and 9 losses. After he joined, they were one of the top teams in the league, winning 15 games out of 20 while also posting an impressive 8-game winning streak. Funny or not, Topic's domestic season ended against FMP, a team that he was about to suit up but never did. His team lost by 2 points in which was a deciding game for the playoffs but Topic was incredible. He scored 30, including this 3 to tie the game. Unfortunately for him, an experienced veteran and great defender Charlie Jenkins stole the ball from him in the last possession, ending their season. Oh, he is an ex-Vesda player too. I'm not sure I 
I have heard so many coincidences in a story as in this one. Remember the historic stat line I mentioned in the beginning? Well, we are about to look into it, but before, please subscribe to our channel for a chance to win a Nikola Jokic jersey. We are giving it away for one lucky subscriber once we hit 75k subs, so don't miss out. In between games with OKK Belgrade against grown men, Topic participated in the most prestigious youth tournament called ANGT. Playing against the hoopers of his age, Topic posted a stat line that surely will be talked about forever. Just listen to this. Point guard had 49 points on formidable 13 of 20 shooting from the field as he mixed in 12 assists. Oh, he also drew 11 fouls from the opponents, can we call it a triple-double? And did not miss a single free throw out of 20. Final stat line indicated a PAR score of 65, third best in tournament's history behind two familiar names that later reached the NBA. What's more insane about this game is that they won it despite trailing by 21 with 16 minutes remaining. From that moment, Topic scored 37 points, leading his team to an epic win from behind. Overall, the Serbian guard dominated the tournament with excellent size for the position, showing superb quickness as he was able to beat anybody to the rim. But can this kid dream even bigger? Can Topic dream about the NBA? I believe his stock is rising as fast as anyone's in the seven months of 2023. He got the MVP of ANGT tournament, he dominated the Serbian league, and now he added a FIBA gold medal and took home another MVP. Looks like life is rewarding him after a super tough first part of the season and all those bureaucratic issues never heard before. Furthermore, the upcoming draft class doesn't project to be the strongest of ones. ESPN's Jonathan Givany adds that no one is sure who the top prospects will be. That's quite the opposite to the summer where four of the top five picks were clear one year before. He projects there will be movers in the mock drafts and in my opinion Topic could make one of the biggest leaps. His size for the top level is legit. He is super quick. His weight center point is extremely low and look at how it allows him to accelerate and beat players to the rim. Drives are the biggest strength. Another encouraging sign for me is how he loves the contact. Watch how he goes straight in the defender while driving, bumps him, absorbs the contact and finishes around the rim. That's a highly transferable skill to top tier leagues as well. I also caught myself enjoying Topic's ability to manipulate the pick and rolls, where he spends the majority of time. Snake and hostage dribbles are nothing new to this young talent already. Observing him, you just get the feeling he is naturally gifted to play the game and has the poise needed to be elite. Obviously, he's only 18 so he has to polish every skill he is good at while also improving in two major areas. Cutting down the turnovers a little bit and his shooting. He shot only 10% from behind the arc in European Championship as he went 2 for 21, but I wouldn't be too worried about this small sample size. If we look at the bigger picture, he has shown the skills to be dangerous from there even in ISO situations. For example, Nikola shot 47% in the ANGT tournament and 33% playing against men. Some of these moves are a lead by all standards, just look at the FMP coach's reaction after this step back. Simply, the finishing touch has to get better. Still believe Topic for three. A 39 point performance for Nikola Topic. Now, if he does that, the future is extremely bright. I expect Topic to climb the mock drafts throughout the year and get drafted in the first round in 2024. All the drama is behind and the runway is empty. Now it's up for Nikola to become another superstar with that name in the NBA. What do you guys think of Topic's talent? Who was guilty for the midseason ban? And would you want him to continue his growth in Europe or? in the states. As always, let's discuss it in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like the video, check the BN Plus platform right here, and I'll see you in the next one.